Welcome to the RDS Services LLC ongoing series of short video presentations on the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, Retiree Drug Subsidy Program. My name is George Fox. I am the National Sales Director of RDS Services LLC, who is the preeminent provider of retiree drug subsidy reopening services, and I'll be hosting this short video series to address many of the questions that arise concerning the re retiree drug subsidy program. Each presentation will address one component of the retiree drug subsidy program at a general level. Specific questions can be emailed to me at gfox at rdsservices.us or you can call me directly at 516-361-9404. Today's video is being presented from our Troy, Michigan offices and we're going to discuss what is the retiree drug subsidy program and why do I need to optimize my subsidy? The RDS program was enacted into law on December 8th of 2003 in Section 101 of Title I of the Medicare Prescription Drug Improvement and Modernization Act of 2003. As stated on the RDS Services website, quote, it is the goal of CMS to give employers and unions a comprehensive set of options to help them to continue to provide high quality prescription drugs and coverage. One method is through a retiree drug subsidy that is flexible enough to enable employers and unions to obtain the subsidy without disrupting their current coverage." End quote. This is consistent with the MMA legislation in, in the sense that the final rule states in part the subsidy payment to sponsors of qualified retiree prescription drug plans is to encourage the retention of employer-sponsored benefits. So in effect, the Medicare Modernization Act is designed to financially support a plan sponsor's cost of providing prescription drug coverage to retirees, up to 28% of the actual eligible costs. So the real question becomes, is as a plan sponsor, your subsidy equal to 28% of the actual eligible costs of providing the prescription drug coverage? If it wasn't, and most plan sponsors do not get anywhere near 28%, how can you recover the full 28% you are due and encouraged to get from the actual legislation? Moreover, if you do not get the full 28% subsidy, you are in effect losing money and jeopardizing the viability of the program. In other words, if you don't use it, you lose it. To be sure you are optimizing your participation in the program, a plan sponsor should conduct a retiree drug subsidy reopening and have the drug cost data analyzed by the experts at RDS Services LLC. The average increase in subsidy payments obtained by RDS Services LLC has been 10%, or in other words, 100 additional, 100,000 additional subsidy dollars per million of subsidy paid out. So in conclusion, if you are a plan sponsor, your retiree drug subsidy payment can be potentially increased through a reopening. To find out more about the reopening process, refer to other videos in this series on that subject, or call us directly, or visit our website at www.rdsservices.us. Have a great day. Thank you.